Welcome back, folks, to Fishing Planet. And today we're going to talk about some of the stuff I personally like a lot. Now, some of you guys may disagree. That's okay. It's not the end of the world. <laughs> we're not always going to agree on everything. But these are just my opinions on stuff that I really like about this game. Now, yesterday we talked about a couple negatives. Today we're going to talk about more positives. And trust me, to me, playing this game as long as I have... There's a lot more positives about this game than negatives, for sure. We'll get into these. So right off the bat, the game is free. That's a big one. and We're not done with the just said either. When you look at DLCs, um, we'll go over here. As a free game, they're not too bad for a boat. You know, there's some packs that are $5. There's some that are $35. There's some, for like this one, that has a boat rod reel lures in kind of a pass you know for 25 the dlcs aren't that expensive and i know people are going to disagree so quit typing i know you're typing <laughs> i'm going to show you in a minute here why you uh definitely will see a different viewpoint here also for people that do want premium it is a free game so it does have to try to make money guys that's how the game survives I'm going to be very clear about that. But this 12 months of premium, $60. Now, as a whole, that's pretty good. So give me one second here, and I'll show you why these are pretty good. All right, so now we are over here at World of Warships, another free game, and we're going to compare it to each other. Now, when I say Fishing Planet is not a pay-to-win game, um, like a lot of free games are, this is going to be, you're going to see exactly what I'm talking about here. Uh, so in Fishing Planet, I guess somebody could make an argument the boats from the DLC are slightly quicker than the boats you can get in the store. But outside of that, they don't really give you a competitive advantage against another player. Now, another thing, when we're talking about the prices. So we'll look at this game. And we're going to look at just one ship. Just one ship, guys. Look at this. So in order to seventeen fifty to balloons, right? That's seventy dollars for one ship. Could you imagine just in Fishing Planet if you were paying seventy dollars for a boat and it wasn't even the best boat? This isn't even the best ship in the game. It's not even close. Um, in fact, this is kind of like middle to slightly higher tier. Just to put it as an example for you guys. Not only that, but this boat does not help you progress in any of the missions. You know, it doesn't unlock something else in front of it or behind it or nothing to that point. Now, pay to win. When you want to see pay to win, you can buy commanders in this game with real money. You know, and that, that'll help you in combat. That'll help you in the game when you're playing other people. That'll help you in competitions, uh, direct result um, of stuff that you can get when you pay way before other people that will actually help you competitively against other people and on a whole different level than a lot of games. And, and a lot of free games are built this way, like Warships. So another thing we're going to take a look at, and no, this isn't even that bad, but I'm just using it as an example. We'll go over to Premium. So 365 days of premium, uh, which is normally 45,000 doubloons. Right now it's 22,500 doubloons. We'll go in here and take a look at that, right? That would be 100, you'd have to buy the $150 pack. In honestly, for a lot of free games, this isn't really that bad of a deal on premium. Uh, so it would end up probably being around 120 or something like that. But that's why I'm saying Fishing Planet for a year premium is 60. In fact, that goes on sale even cheaper. Like if you were to buy it at, I think this is right now, what would be 45,000? Let's go look in here. What would be 45,000? I mean, you're looking at, you're looking at least $200 normally. Um, so... When I say it's not that expensive a game, it's really not that expensive of a game, especially being that it's a free game 
and they do have to try to make some ways to make money to survive. Fishing Planet is a lot better than a lot of other free-to-play games or pay-to-win games is what I call it. And I don't put Fishing Planet in a pay-to-win game. So another thing good about this game, and this is going to make you guys laugh, um, but there's a lot of new content in this game. They keep it pretty active. And for those people that don't uh, play very many games, uh, that probably disagreed about the pay and stuff until you saw other games, this is this game is really good at generally printing out new uh, content. So I started playing 2015 when the game came out on PC. Uh, I've been, let's see, uh, playing since 2017 on PS5. So when I started playing on PC... There was no boats. There was only the regular U.S. lakes. Um, there was max level was forty. There was no nighttime. There was no kayaks. There was probably a quarter of the lures. There was no bottom rods even. Uh, there was only a, no carp rods. Nothing like that. Nothing crazy. I don't believe there was monster fish out or events the first year. Uh, so there's a lot of stuff that they've added and they're normally pretty consistent now lately we've had a little bit of a slowdown on that but granted that uh the country that they are from and a lot of their family and friends are from as well is at war is probably a big reason for that and there's i'm sure there's other reasons but obviously they're working on new stuff they've been talking about it recently and uh for those of you not asking gonna ask right now stop typing I don't know when the new lake is coming out or the new waterway. I know that's going to be a question down in the comments. Um, but the fact that they add new content is crazy. And if you only play this game, you're probably thinking, no, uh, that ain't right. I play games. This is no lie. Seven Days to Die on PlayStation has not received a update, content update, I believe in five years. All right, so <laughs> there's games out there that just don't, there is no new content. Uh, you know, a lot of games I play, Conan Exiles, very rarely do they have new content. Uh, they've gotten a little bit better about it recently, uh, but a lot of games. I, I In fact, this is, this in, in Warships probably, on all the games I play, probably had the most steady stream of new content out of all the games I play. And I played... In the last year, I probably played 100 games. I'll type in the exact number on top of the screen for you guys, but I believe it's it's just under 100 games this last year. And just to keep the crazy factor low, there it is. There's 146. And a lot of them I don't have a lot of hours on, obviously, because I'm just testing them, see if they're going to be something that's decent on the channel or something I would like. Now, this one is a interesting one to me. I want to see how many of you guys agree with me. But I'm going to use largemouth bass in Florida as an example. There is not one right way way to catch something. There is multiple right ways to do something in this game. And believe it or not, that's actually a pretty rare thing in gaming. You know, sometimes, you, you know, in a lot of other games, there's a mission you have to do a set way. That's it. Um, in this game, you have a lot of different options. Now, what do I mean by that? Let's go into my bag here. I could catch a unique largemouth bass on a spinning rod. I could do it on a casting rod. I could do it on a bottom rod. I could do it on a float pole. I could use different baits. I could use basically any bass jig, almost any top water or hard bait lure. You know, there's so many ways to catch a largemouth bass, and that goes for a lot of the fish in the game. A lot of times, there isn't just one way to do it. Not only that, but this is obviously a popular spot to cast. Here, let's put something on just so I can point. Uh, you go down, you know, cast down this way is a real popular spot, but you can catch them um, over here. You can catch them over here. And you can catch them back over here. This is, I know that sounds incredibly simple, but a lot of games aren't like that, guys. And it's a lot, it's really interesting to me that I can put out a guide on how to catch a fish in a certain spot. 
And someone else can put out a guide on how to catch that same fish in a different spot with a different lure. And both could be right. I, I really enjoy that about this game. Now, this next one, I could see why people would disagree with this one. And I'm okay with that. And I totally understand it. But one of the things I really like is the game developers don't just hand out game mechanics. You have to figure them out for yourself or watch somebody or get information from friends on how to do stuff. And I really like that. It gives you a challenge and it lets you learn the game the way you don't. And what do I mean by this? So for you guys that don't know about unique um, timers or spawn mechanics, uh, if I remember, I'll put a video down below. And stuff like that is really really interesting to me and I, I i i hope they don't change that i like that that they don't really they kind of leave it for you to figure out and it's a wonderful deal for me anyway now i can see why somebody that uh you know maybe gets a half an hour to play on saturday you know or you know doesn't maybe like that and i could totally get that i totally understand that and i could see people disagreeing with that one but this is just something that i like about the game now, for those of you that only play, like, one or two games, this one you might disagree with. But this one I feel very strongly about. Other than a couple things recently, one of them being on the screen right now, I'm curious to know if any of you guys will guess what that is. Some of you obviously do. Um, but outside of some recent hiccups and bugs and stuff, this is generally a really well-run game. And what do I mean by that? You don't get online and the servers are down for days or you didn't lose all your progress you put in for the last month or, you know, the game doesn't crash every five minutes that you're on it. Uh, and that's that's a big thing. Uh, out of all the things I've talked about in this video, this is going to be probably the most underrated thing and the thing that I like most about the game. Uh generally now recently we've had a few hiccups i understand that in the last few months and and i think hopefully they'll work on it this is a pretty darn well run game especially when you factor in this is a very small development team when you put it up against other games uh now just to show you what i mean uh in arc game you guys know on the channel for you guys that watch other video games on the that I do on the channel last year we had something happen I lost a character and I lost literally a year of progress <laughs> I believe that well it might have been over a year ago now and there was nothing they could do about it they could they could basically give me a new character that wasn't have anything that my old character had that was it uh, and and there and, and there's a lot of things. It's just not just that. I mean, when I get for you guys that play Call of the Wild, you guys know when you get on there right now after the last update, that game a hundred percent crashes a lot. I think I crash about every five minutes right now on that game after the last update. And uh, so just keep that in mind uh, when you're thinking about bugs and fixes. If you play other games, you will. Outside of Farm Sim, which by far has, out of all the games, like I said, how many games I've played in the last year or even few years, um, Farm Sim is definitely the, by and large, probably the best at that out of all the games I play. But this game is pretty close as well. Anyway, I really want to hear what you guys like about the game. Uh, be kind and uh, play it down in the comments. I cannot wait to hear. As you guys know, I love reading comments and replying especially on something like this where we're discussing the game. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I'll see you next time, folks. Have a wonderful day. I'm sure I missed a few things, too. So let me know. Have a good one, folks.